Former President Trump has consistently blamed the abortion issue and how Republican candidates have talked about it for their electoral losses. How do you see the path forward? You know, I've said it before. I think you have to be honest with the American people. This is a personal issue for every woman and every man. I am unapologetically pro-life, not because the Republican Party tells me to be, but because my husband Michael was adopted and I had trouble having both of my children. So I'm surrounded by blessings. Having said that, when you look Post Roe, a wrong was made right. They took it out of the hands of unelected justices and they put it in the hands of the people. And now we're seeing states vote. And what I'll tell you is, as much as I'm pro-life, I don't judge anyone for being pro-choice and I don't want them to judge me for being pro-life. So when we're looking at this, there are some states that are going more on the pro-life side. I welcome that. There are some states that are going more on the pro-choice side. I wish that wasn't the case, but the people decided. But when it comes to the federal law, which is what's being debated here, be honest, it's going to take 60 Senate votes, a majority of the House, and a president to sign it. So no, we haven't had 60 Senate votes in over 100 years. We might have 45 pro-life senators. So no Republican president can ban abortions any more than a Democrat president can ban these state laws. I would certainly, as president of the United States, have a 15-week national limit. I would not allow states like California, Illinois, or New York to have abortion up until the day of birth. I certainly would not, not allow for governors, uh, former governor, uh, Democratic governor of Virginia, who talked about infanticide. We need a 15-week federal limit. Three out of four Americans agree with a 15-week limit. 47 out of 50 countries in Europe agree with a 15-week limit. I would challenge both Nikki and Ron to join me at a 15-week limit. It is in our nation's best interest. And frankly, I think it's unethic and unethical and immoral to allow for abortions up until the day of birth. I would support anything that would pass because that's what would save more babies and support more moms. But do you have to be honest with the American people? And I appreciate that Tim keeps calling me out for this. But Tim, there was a bill last year. Lindsey Graham sponsored it. You didn't even co-sponsor the bill. And then when you first were interviewed on this, when you ran, you wouldn't even say you were for 15 weeks. What I am saying to the American people is let's true. see what we can agree on. Let's bring people together and decide what we can agree on. I will sign anything where we can get 60 Senate votes, but don't make the American people think that you're going to push something on them when we don't even have the votes in the Senate. It's Literally. important that we're honest about that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.